Annemiek van Vleuten, Anna van der Breggen, the current world champion, Mariana Vos, the GOAT, as well as the young superstar Demi Vollering, winner of Liège and the course this year. They're the four riders in the Dutch women's Olympic road race team, and it is completely overpowered. I mean, their 2016 squad had Ellen van Dijk in there instead of Demi Vollering, and as well as the other three, Van Vleuten, Van der Breggen, and Mariana Vos. Van Vleuten crashed on the descent, but Anna van der Breggen still won the gold medal. But I think this year's team is even more overpowered. We're going to take a look at some of the one-day hilly races these four have dominated this year, look at maybe some threats people who could challenge them on Sunday when the road race is early European time. But first, the parkour, 135Ks long. I'd like to see it a bit long, 180, 200Ks. We don't have the Makuni Pass or Fuji Pass like we do in the men's road race, but I still think the Doshi Road, 4.3K, 6.7% will be decisive in the first 80 kilometers. Then it's a rolling terrain with a draggy finish at the end, plenty of places to attack from a reduced group in the last 20 Ks. And the favorite for the race in the markets, who's ridden two different ways this year, Anna van der Breggen, current world champion, won the road race in 2016. She's obviously ridden for herself in races like Flesh Fallon in, say, stage two of Giro Rosa, where she won the GC, and stage two, and the TT, and Vuelta Burgos as well, where well, Women's World Tour race, where she won a Laguna Sonia hard mountaintop finish, one GC there. But she's also ridden differently, which we'll have a look at in a second, in Liège and La Course, in aid of her SD Works teammate, uh, Demi Vollering. But for example, at Flesh Wallon this year, we saw that her style at this point hasn't changed despite being challenged last year by Demi Vollering when she was on Park Hotel Volkenberg and this year by Kasia Nubiodoma, who's looked good. She just does murder we at her pace and her three minute watts per kilo up to 20, 30 minute watts per kilo has been the best in the world this year. Anna van der Breggen, we sent on long mountaintop finishes, 20, 30 minute climbs. We saw it on murder we here where she won easily. So she can attack early on say that Doshi Road or later on 1500 meter 5% sections if she needs to, if they don't have a group composition that they like. And she certainly will be able to mark and will I think mark a lot of moves if she has teammates up the road, which is how I expect the Dutch women to play this race. Liège, Baston Liège, she rode it in that style I mentioned more for Demi Vollering. They didn't get separation from some of the better climbers like Kasia Neviodoma and Longo Borghini, and she's trying to drop Mariana Voss at this point for Demi Vollering in this group. They want Vollering to hang on, Voss to get dropped, who is on their team on Sunday. Van der Breggen would then pace to keep Voss, and it was Ludwig here behind, and then she led her out for the sprint, which we'll see in a second. Now, they're going to try and do something similar on those climbs to drop Lotte Kopecky, who's very fast, Emma Norsgaard, and if they put riders like Nuvia Doma, they get separation to her like they did here, and then someone like Vollering can sit on and then get brought back to Van der Breggen while sitting in the wheels, all the better. But I do wonder what the Netherlands team will do if they get a group of, say, five with Vollering in it, Van der Breggen, Van Vleuten, three riders, and then Longo Borghini, uh, say Ludwig or Mulman, three other riders, not from the Netherlands. Will they re-attack with Van Vleuten in the last 20Ks? Probably. I think it, that gives you the most chance of winning if you re-attack like they did in, I think, the World Championships with Chantal van den Broek Black. And if that doesn't work for some reason, it's a reduced bunch sprint. Well, Demi Vollering usually or Mariana Voss interchange those two. They will be absolutely toasting the other riders, presuming, and this is expected, that they drop, say, Norsgaard and Lodica Pecky, the other quick women, on the start line. But you saw Demi Vollering in that reduced bunch sprint. That would have beat Annemiek van Vleuten, but van Vleuten's her teammate on Sunday. At La Course, we saw van der Breggen riding in a pretty similar fashion. She was on the front on the, the first ascent of the Cote de Fossil loop, chasing the breakaway, bringing them back. They had van der Breggen in the group. They then brought back Kasia Nuviadoma, who tried to attack. Grace Brown was strong. I'll talk about Grace Brown in a second as well. She's a, a threat to the Dutch team, the Australian rider. But yeah, again, you see van der Breggen brought that back in the course and then it flattened out at the end. She had Demi Vollering in the group. They still had Mariana Voss and that was a problem in Amstel Gold Race. So in the course, they actually didn't pull, which they did with Mulman in Amstel Gold Race. You see Voss there, but again, Voss, as I've said, is their teammate on Sunday. So it was a little bit more tactical at the end of the course than one would expect if they had multiple riders and no fast threats in the road race on Sunday. They couldn't drop Mariana Voss to put her under pressure. So Van der Breggen just went on the front and let it out anyway. And Demi Vollering in this uphill drag was able to right the wrongs of Amstel still gold race and beat Mariana Voss in the sprint who maybe launched a little bit early. Voss who won her Hent Fablehem sprint ahead of 
Lottie Kopecki and Norsgaard. I think despite leading them out, she's been that good this year and winning uphill sprints in the Giro Rosa as well, Mariana Voss. So even if for some reason they have a group of eight and it's not a solo Dutch winner, the likes of Van Leuten or Anna van der Breggen, they have a group of eight and Mariana Voss and Volering are in that group. They're going to be the quickest in that group anyway, and if one of them leads out the other, it's going to be very, very difficult for anyone to beat them. But if you like this late-night stream of consciousness telling you the news that the Dutch women's Olympic road race team is actually pretty good, then like the video down below. It's always good to see the support for the women's road race content. But speaking of riders who could actually pose a threat to the Dutch team, uh, I already mentioned Okasha Nerviadoma, the young pole on Canyon Shram. She won't have as many teammates on Sunday. Her teammates like Elise Shabby have been pretty solid for her actually in some of the one day hilly races this year. But on Kalberg, she attacked, we already showed her attacking on Cote de Fossil Loop uh, last month in the course. But she got good separation. She dropped Demi Vollering, put proper time into her on the Kalberg, who then had to, Vollering had to be brought back by teammate Ashley Mulman. And this is maybe how someone else can win, barring crashes or something random happening, is Elisa Longo Borghini, and Kasia Nuriadoma, uh, riders like Cecilia Utrup Ludwig or Ashley Mulman collaborating together if they, even if, even if they have Van der Breggen with them. Because even though that sounds like they'll still lose to Van der Breggen, they still might, maybe they can beat her in a sprint or beat Van Leuten in a sprint. Unlikely and ideally they'd be on their own, but they'd have to work together in that scenario. If they allow themselves to get caught by a group with Vollering or Voss, it makes it very, very difficult for them to win. You see Voss and Vollering at the back here. So I think for riders like Nuvi Doma or Elisa Longo Borghini, it's all about surviving the Doshi climb, not letting Van Vleuten attack, marking her, and then that little 2, 2K, 5% climb afterwards, maybe trying on the descent, but then there's those rollers going into the finish and trying something in the last 30Ks. And Elisa Longo Borghini's been incredibly strong. And Babelhen, you saw her solo for 20Ks. They can't afford to go to the line with the likes of Mariana Voss and Demi Vollering. They also can't allow themselves to get attacked and then re-attacked by Vollering, Van Vleuten, and Anna van der Breggen. So maybe those sort of riders can try something in that rolly run in and then try and collaborate perhaps with Grace Brown, who's again, another rider who can go solo from far. She's been really good in the Ardennes in the last two years. She's often done this without too much help, but if she goes with Elisa Longo Borghini types, or maybe Ashley Mulman, top five pure climber in the world, one of the stages of the Giro Rosa, I think the last mountain top finish, those sort of riders have to form a team of their own. But to be honest, I'm expecting 2019 Harrogate, Annemiek van Vleuten, 100k solo type stuff this Sunday. I think she was carrying an injury last year, and van der Breggen went solo and won anyway, so I think van Vleuten's going to be allowed to attack early, Will anyone be able to bring her back? Perhaps if they do, Van der Breggen will probably re-attack or maybe she'll be happy with the reduced group composition and <laughs> then they've got Voss and or Vollering for the final sprint. So let me know down below in the comments, not who you think is gonna win, what other sports at this year's Olympics has a completely stacked nation who has a chance to sweep all the medals? Is there like a badminton team, a kayaking team that I don't know, where there's just an overpowered team? I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see my recap of the men and women's road race, that'll be on the Lantern Rouge Cycling Podcast after the race finishes. The men's tomorrow, Saturday, women's on Sunday. Then we'll have the TT preview and recaps at the start of next week. That's a separate YouTube channel, so subscribe to that down below, but I hope you enjoy watching the race. Ciao.